guys, DMV Solo Rider back with another ride video. Today we're on Route 7 heading up towards Leesburg and we're going to do a ride called the Leesburg Loop. This is a ride I admittedly have not done in quite a while and there are so many rides out by Leesburg, Warrington, Culpeper that they all kind of get mixed in the back of my mind and I'm not sure I can remember all the unique features of this particular ride. What is unique about it is, you know, it's pretty close into DC. Uh, let's set aside all the stop and go traffic it took for me just to get 14 miles away from the beginning of the ride. What's unique about this ride is when I was first learning how to ride, this is kind of the first ride I did outside of my usual circuit. You know, I think uh, one of the videos I put up a while back was about the GW Parkway and how that was a great beginner ride. And so once I had done that circuit a whole bunch and I was looking for something new, this is a ride that I found on a website I had mentioned previously in some of my earlier videos. And as I recall, don't hold me to it, but I don't recall it being super twisty. There are definitely some curves some you know high speed sharp turns I don't recall there being much in the way of straightaways it was mostly kind of a suburban farmland ride uh, not particularly long uh, I want to say it's probably a 40 mile loop uh, I will download the ride and GPS coordinates onto my Google Drive page and you can find the link to that page down in the description section below for the video and as always, if you enjoy this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I put my ride and ride-related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and you'll be made aware every time I upload a new video. Thank you. You can also feel free to hit me up on my various social media accounts that I'm posting right below. If you for whatever reason you don't want to comment on YouTube, feel free to shoot me an email. I love hearing from folks who have uh, had a chance to watch the videos, love getting feedback. So don't hesitate. So yeah, we're going to go do this ride. And I am also going to experiment with some different camera, pl camera placements. Going to try and put the camera down by the front wheel, maybe the back wheel just to experiment and play around with some new things. All right, so we're about a mile away from the start of the route. We've got our GoPro down by the front wheel. I'm not sure that position is really gonna work. I think the front fork is blocking it a bit. It's kind of hard to tell. Well, look, we're experimenting. We'll play around with it, see how it does. And just consider ourselves fortunate if the GoPro doesn't fall off along the way. <laughs> oh, Chieftain sounds pretty throaty today. So here's some country road for you. 20 miles outside the city. And we have deer signs. I'm just rambling, guys. We'll probably cut all this out and put some crappy music in. Twisties ahead. Now that we've done Route 48, I've got all that out of my system, kind of. I'll never pass up a highway like that, though, I'll tell you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's been a while since I've done this ride. 
and all the rides out here kind of mix together. So this one is definitely a little twistier than I recall, which is great. No complaints for me. It's so hilly, it's, you know, you don't really know what's over the hill. Ooh, other than a huge patch of gravel. Why? Why me and gravel? Why do I have to have gravel? You know guys, I know you uh, you saw my video on CarPlay and the Road Glide. I will say one thing I'm increasingly starting to miss is traction control. You know, the Chieftain doesn't have it, it's got ABS, that's it. I mean, I have I've fishtailed so many times and I don't just mean on gravel, I just mean on pavement. That it's almost alarming. <laughs> And, you know, because I don't mind riding twisties, it would certainly be helpful to have it. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from DC. Just got to be careful on these roads, as usual. Lots of gravel. And because it's so up and down, you really have no idea what's over the next ridge. And on a road like this, I personally am not interested in flying over a hill at 60 miles an hour right into a curve. I've already had one car riding on the double yellow. I've already ridden through four literal piles of gravel. The bane of my existence. I really don't remember the ride the more I'm on it. It's much twistier than I recall. Which is awesome. But I don't remember it. I mean, it's, it is a fun route, but it's very residential in the sense that, like, yeah, okay, it's residential, they're letting you go 45, but if you were going to go 60 down here, you'd be an idiot. That's kind of the way it feels to me. Just a few waypoints on this ride just because of detours, construction, things like that, but we didn't really miss much as I can recall. No, not that I can recall much, apparently. This is a great little ride, guys. You really dig it. Just be careful in those, you know, tightly packed residential areas. I'm shocked that the speed limits are as high as they are, but you know. 
doesn't mean if someone lurches out of a driveway that you'll be able to stop on a dime. All right, we just made our last stop for a, a fresh battery and I repositioned the camera a little bit. We'll see how that does. We're down to 72 degrees up here. This feels so good. I don't know why, but this whole summer just felt super hot. I think the issue was last summer when I was learning how to ride, it just didn't matter. That was nothing I was thinking about. And now that I've been riding for a year, I've got oh my god, 1,600 miles under, 16,000 miles under my belt. <laughs> I seem to be a little more sensitive to the elements. <laughs> a little picky. Yeah, that doesn't stop me from riding. What the hell? Gravel? This is not what I intended. I don't recall this at all. God, I don't want to cut out a whole piece of the ride. Just this little stretch. So we're gonna do it. Just be real careful. Yeah, guys, baggers and gravel ain't a good mix. So. Maybe I did ride down here on my scout. I just cannot remember this to save my life. I don't want to be here. It's got to just be here. Only with the oncoming traffic. I guess we know what the thumbnail is going to be for the video. Adventure Bagger. guys we are just a couple miles to the end of the ride I have to be honest I totally did not remember this ride after you know I haven't been been up here in you know almost a year it was a lot twistier than I recalled which was awesome got a little off-roading adventure riding on that little stretch <laughs> it was just a really nice ride you know if you do the ride just keep in mind it's largely residential areas you know it, it might seem rural or like farm country but driveways are pretty densely packed and some of those areas the speed limits get up to 45 miles an hour but I mean 
you'll have trouble stopping on a dime if you're doing 80 down those roads and someone pulls out of their driveway. Uh, but definitely a ride worth doing. I highly recommend it. Anyways, uh, that will just about do it for me today on this ride. If you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. I put my ride and ride related videos out every Friday, so hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. And until next Friday, everybody stay safe and I'll catch you next week.